So Andrea is a level 10 snake handler. <laughs> Hey. What is going? No. Andy Gab is back for another vlog, and we are gonna start this out by feeding RJ, but he is over in the corner over there, and he doesn't want to come over, so I'm just gonna crawl on in and uh, make it happen. Oh. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. Let's go. How Let's does do that it. feel? How did that feel? That Your first ever time feeding RJ. First ever time feeding an alligator ever. Really? Yes. Dude, I kind of I kind of wish that we had a little bit more of a, a bigger a feeding obstacle to give you, but... Uh... Alright, so that was one. Let's go with uh, one more. Let's see if he'll eat another one. RJ, look at Look at buddy. RJ, look. It's a mouse. Oh, yes. He grabbed another one. Let's see if we can go three for three. Alright, I got one more. Alright, let's give it to him. Oh, how cool is that? I would say that went well. I'm not sure what else we have in store for this video, but I'm sure we're gonna be doing something else that's awesome. That's my girl. That's my girl. Hey, Bella. This is the coolest animal in the world. She is, dude. Hey. Don't you feel her love when she comes yes. to you? Hi, sweetie. Hi. Watch up. What? Yeah, she did it. Yeah. Hi, Bella. Hello. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna take out the uh, the Alberts Python or White Lip Python, uh, and evidently this one's super tame. So we're just gonna go for it. It There's really is. Lens. There's probably Bella sneeze. Oh yeah. Isn't it amazing, dude, dude? So cool. I've always liked the White Lips, just obviously because of their face. Yeah. But like their whole body's cool. But if just... you guys can't see why they get the uh, name White Lip Python, it literally looks like he has white lipstick on. It's. Like even just the patterning. Yeah, like, look at that orange and red yeah. and like they have the sunset ball pythons and if anything is a sunset python, it's, it's this. this. For like this sure. is the perfect sunset color right there. Yeah, especially because it fades into the blues yeah. and stuff. It's just it's honestly I know it's just basic, but it's just simply beautiful. It is gorgeous. At, dude. at the simplest like, way. Look at the head right there. Right. So crazy. Now we're gonna take out the Cuban Nidanol. Uh Brian is just going to get a key. Obviously, all the enclosures are locked. What's up, buddy? You're okay. Don't get behind there. Ooh. Did you see that? Yeah. I don't know. He was. I've held him plenty of times. He was nice every single time. Hey, bud. I mean, he doesn't look like he wants to be nice. Nice. Hey, buddy. I think you just need to grab him out. Ooh. I don't think I should. He seems like he's not in the... You guys see him flaring up his throat? Once he's out, he's good. Oh, there he goes. He's a hopper just like these guys. He's having a really hard time with it. I mean, I'm not having a hard time, but he keeps opening his, he keeps know, opening his mouth and turning it at me. I mean, you know, kind of a rookie. See, way easier. Look at how cool this guy is, though. Oh, look at that jump. That's how easy it is. That was cool. That was almost better than the leaf tails. Well, now he's climbing up Brian. <laughs> he wants to stay on Brian. They're green. They match. <laughs> he's so cool. <laughs> I told you he was nice once you get him out. Yeah. Like, he never... Here he goes. Maybe. Maybe a little closer. Yep. There it goes. I'm an expert. What can you Dude, how about that? <laughs> I love his little derpy underbite. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Andrea, how long have you worked here? Um, year, year and a half-ish. Okay, so she worked for, for a year, year and a half, so you've got to be good at like handling the snakes and taking them out and stuff, I would I guess. don't do colubrids. Oh. Well, she's going to do a colubrid, though. Where she's going to take out a Mexican black king and just show me how to do it. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's go for it. Okay. Are you more nervous than having an alligator bite your lip? No, just because you're seeing this specific one. Yeah, so just go ahead. Just take it out. It's just it's a Mexican black king is all she's got to just take out. Is this one like known for being an asshole though? Yeah, just take it out. Just, just hold it for a second. Well, this was slightly less eventful than <laughs> I thought it was going to be. We're going to pick a different snake and come back to this. We're going to try another Mexican black king. This is not going how I anticipated this going. I think we need to step it up. Are you ready to go to something a little more epic? I'm nervous. What do you What do you think we should have her do? Maybe a baby retick. <laughs> a baby retick? Yeah. I heard they were all nice though. They started to eat really good now. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So we'll move on to a baby retick. Let's go try that. 
Okay, so we moved over back to the Reptarium and uh, Andrea said she's gonna take out Crackle. I guess usually he's a little bit more fun for her to take out. She's kind of small, so. I don't want him to like launch up my face. <laughs> Pretty he nice. He was out for a minute last time and then he got me. And he's not like a striker, right? He's just like a turn and biter. Yeah. He looks like he wants to though. Yeah, he, he looks like he's sniffing now. <laughs> Take your uh, middle, your ring finger out. Oh. Did you see that? <laughs> Dude, I see you bite everyone. <laughs> Come on. So Andrea is a level 10 snake handler and didn't get bit by all the things that we're not supposed to bite her because we would never want her to get bit on purpose. That's not yeah. the idea. No. We're just having her take out some, some cool stuff, but he I guess- He is notorious for biting though. Yeah, I guarantee you, if I were to grab him right now, he would bite me. 100%. You passed, you can put him back. <laughs> uh, let's go with that one. I booped it even. And <laughs> Here at BHB, we work really hard at taming our snakes. She's real good at this. Oh, viper boa. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. A little bit. A little bit. Did we, did we draw blood? Oh, we did. <laughs> we did. So it took 46 tries, which I feel like made it less cool. Andrea did get bit. Probably gonna bleed out. It's fine. I give her credit. So the highly deadly viper <laughs> boa. This tortoise has been sitting here ramming me since I got here in more ways than one. And so these guys are so cute. Uh, these are just, you know, BHB. These are, you guys are gonna keep these, right, Lori? Uh, maybe. It's looking that way, isn't it? It kind of is. Yeah. I feel like they've been here for a while, but look at how cute they are. The problem is they're outgrowing this bin, and I don't know where they're going next. <laughs> free roam. I definitely think they should let the chickens free roam. We're gonna ship them to you and let them free roam your house. Ooh. Kelsey yeah. would honestly yeah. more than likely love you. I okay. doubt it. Well, okay, I got Kelsey. Your address. Oh, you do have my address. That's not, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> All right, so everyone is busy. Brian is editing. Noah is responding back to comments. Everyone is working. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a look around at some stuff. And I just saw a bin for a leucistic scaleless Texas rat, and I've never seen one of those. So uh, take a look at it. I don't know how nice this guy is, but. Oh, she seems fine. These guys feel so cool. Dude, look at how cool this snake is. This thing is so awesome. The scaleless snakes are so cool and the leucistic just makes it look absolutely crazy. Dude, they're so crazy. I learned my lesson about watching through the camera lens last time. I don't know if you guys remember my last video, but I was watching the camera, not the actual snake, and it literally bit the lens of my camera and scared the living crap out of me. And now he's just edging it like a little bit closer and closer. A little bit closer. Yeah. Why are you backing up? Yeah, you know? Because I know from right there it could. Probably get my face. <laughs> and uh, that kind of just proved it. You can see my lens is a little bit blurry because it literally got the camera lens. But definitely amazing snakes. They're so cool. Like I love, like if you can see the shape of its head, their heads are like diamond shaped, which is awesome. But I don't know if I could ever own one of these as a pet. Like I would love to, but you can see how crazy they are or how crazy this specific one is at least. Uh, but yeah, thank you for taking it out, Brian. I appreciate it. My pleasure, oh. it's a beauty. Definitely a beauty, definitely scary. All right guys, so if you remember from the last time that I was here, I actually cut some of Lucy's eggs and now I'm actually gonna get to see them again, which I think is kind of cool. Live this time. Well, yeah, I mean, they were live before. Yeah, but they were like not out though. Yeah, this is the first time I've actually seen them. I haven't even opened it since I've been here. So I think it's two of these two are the ones that I cut, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. Yeah, let's try it. So this is one of the Citron Tiger babies, and you guys can see, compared to what they look like when they were in the egg when I cut them, now they're absolutely crazy. They're bigger, the colors are popping, and this one's actually shedding right now, but yeah, you can see all the different colors. The Citron Tigers are definitely awesome, and if I could buy one, I would 100% buy one. And so weird, it's kind of a, a, an irony, if you would say, um, because Lucy is not the nicest retaker, but literally, pretty much every single one of her babies are yeah. so like gentle and haven't even struck. Like, yeah, they're all really super weird. friendly. But uh, it's because uh, Titan's really nice, right? And Titan is their dad. Yeah. Yeah. 
So maybe they all just got their dad's jeans. But uh, take out the other one real quick. Here is the other one. This one is fully shed. And just look at look at their eyes. Like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it perfectly. Get that iridescent on. Ooh. Yeah. They're so beautiful. I really wish I could buy one or just like just like take one. Just like put it. Just do that. Can I just you think they'll let me on the plane like that? Actually they probably wouldn't even know. They definitely probably wouldn't know. <laughs> look at just chilling. Snakes on a plane, real style. They are definitely gorgeous babies. And I'm glad I had the honor to cut a few of them. That sounded weird. Did it? No, I'm just oh. <laughs> All right guys, so that is gonna end my video here at BHB. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Do me a favor, please like this video, leave me a comment down below, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn the post notification bell on. I appreciate you guys, peace.